Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world angry calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah, the only begotten Son, who the world angry called Jesus Christ. Also, I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, true leaders of Israel. And also, I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000. Along with the one third men, women, and children that's listening in true sincerity, as part of the elect, who the Lord will have mercy upon. All right, to you I say Shalom. And um, you know, name this um, title of this video: "Sex is Marriage." All right, you know, because me and my Eve, you know, we was talking about, you know, we were talking about um, marriage. And, you know, I was telling her, you know, according to the Bible, man. You know, um, sex is marriage, all right? So, me and you been married, you know, according to the Bible, all right? You know, but you know, I was showing her, you know, a few precepts, all right? And, um, you know, I, I never touched on this topic, you know, so I'm deciding to make this video, all right? Lord willing, the video is edifying, all right? So, this is Genesis chapter 24, and I'll start with verse 63. And Isaiah went out to meditate in the field at the event time and he lifted up his eyes and saw and behold the camels were coming and rebecca lifted up her eyes and when she saw isaac she lightened off the camel all right so rebecca when she saw isaac you know she jumped off the camel and was like damn who's that all right verse 65 for she has said unto the servant, what man is is this that walketh in the field to meet us? So she's like, damn, man, that man, uh, he fire. Who is that? All right. And it says, and the servant has said, it is my master. Therefore, she took a veil and covered herself. All right. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. Verse 67, and Isaiah brought brought her into his mother's into his mother's slaki. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebecca and she became his wife. Alright. So she said she took Rebecca, alright, they had sex. Alright, Isaac brought Rebecca into his mother's tent and they had sex. And it says, and she became his wife. Alright. She became his wife after they had sex, all right? And he loved her, and Isaac was comforter, comfort after his mother's death, all right? You know, so that's, you know, it's one point right there. All right, I'm gonna get another precept. This is Exodus 22 and verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, all right? So if a man, you know, he see, he see a woman or a maid, you know, that, you know, that, you know, that he likes. All right. He, 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 he went up to her. He probably said, man, hey, 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 hey um, you got a man. All right. And if the maid or, or the, or the woman says no. All right. And, and it says, and if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endure her to be his wife, all right? So if the woman, all right, she don't have no man, all right, the maid don't have no man, all right, it's, it's, it's lawful, it's lawful for, for, it's lawful for that man, you know, it's lawful for that man to, to lay with her, all right? All right, read that one more time. Exodus 22 and 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. All right, so that's lawful, man. As long as she don't have, as long as she, she don't have a man, all right, it's lawful. All right, another precept is Exodus chapter 21 and verse 10. If he take him another wife, all right, because man, you know, we're allowed to have multiple wives all right but in this society you know it's not the wisest thing to do because you know esau got these laws and legislations you know set up you know for 
You know, he got these laws and legislation set up, man, where it's not wise to do that. All right. But according to the Bible, you know, it's lawful to have more than one wife. All right. And all right. So this is Exodus 21 and verse 10. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish? All right. And what's her duty of marriage? Shall he not diminish? All right. It's talking about sex. All right. Because first of all, sex is marriage. All right. But, you know, when, you know, when you and your wife, you know, y'all having sex, man, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's keeping y'all relationship alive, man. That's, that's, you know, that's sex, you know, sex makes the, the marriage, I mean, sex makes the relationship better. All right. It keeps, it keeps the man and the woman happy. All right. And it says, verse 11, and if he do not these three things unto her, then shall shall she go out free without money. All right. So, you know, the Israelite man, all right, we, we supposed to take care of our wives. All right. We supposed to pro, um, provide with food, all right, clothes, all right, and, and sex. Okay. Let me get another precept. This is, uh, all right, because, you know, there's nowhere in the scriptures, you know, you know, nobody can bring out a scripture where it's, you know, where a man's supposed to, is supposed to uh, bow down on one knee and ask the woman to, you know, to be his wife. All right, with 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 a twenty thousand um, dollar engagement ring. All right, that's that's not that's not that's not biblical, man. That's not in the scriptures. All right, you know that's, you know that came from Esau. All right, Esau the ones that do that. You, um, get married. All right, going going to this church. Ask, you know, have a pastor, you know, to approve your your wedding. All right, this is Matthew chapter five and verse thirty one. It has been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. All right, so if you putting away your wife, man, you you give her a bill of divorcement. That's how I, that's how it was in, in the ancient days. Verse thirty two, but I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife saving for the cause of fornication, all right? So you only supposed to put your wife away, you know, according to the scriptures, if she commits fornication, all right? If she go and lie with another man, all right? If she go sleep with another man, you know, that's that's really the only way that you can put her away, all right? It says, causes her to commit adultery. I'm gonna read that again. Matthew chapter 5 and 32. But I say unto you that whosoever shall, shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. <clears throat> right. You know, so if you, if you, um, if you, if you, um, get, if you, if you give your Eve a, a, a writing of divorcement, all right, and if it's not for her um, sleeping with another man, all right, if you put her away because you know you 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 um tired of having sex with her, or or you know you just tired of being with her, you know that's wicked. All right, so if you put her away and she goes sleep with another man, all right, both of y'all, both of y'all have committed adultery because one because you 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 gave her a a, a writing of divorcement, all right, and 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 she didn't even commit fornication. So if she goes sleep with another man, you, you, and you and your wife uh, committed fornication. All right, I mean, Shalaka, both of y'all committed adultery, and it says, and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committed adultery. All right, so you, so you committed adultery because you, you um, gave your your wife a um, a bill of divorcement. All right, and and yo. And your your wife, she um committed adultery, all right, because she slept with another man, and then that man that slept with with her committed adultery. So all three of y'all, you know, um, committed adultery, all right, all right. So um, we get one more precept, and I close it out. It's is Jeremiah chapter three and verse one. They say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man shall he return unto her 
The Lord asks you a question. All right. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Yeah, man, that land gonna be completed because, you know, another man's um another man's semen is inside is, is inside your wife's. So her her land is polluted. Alright, and it says, But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. Yeah, man. So if 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 your wife, you know, if she goes lay with another man, she she um she played the role of a harlot, all right? Because a a wife a, a woman's supposed to have, you know, it's only supposed to be with one with, with one man, all right? She's not supposed to have um, semen all, all all different. I mean, she's not supposed to have different men semen inside of her, all right? Because that semen, you know, that's that's. You know, that stays there, all right? That semen don't, you know, you can't just take a bath and then, you know, that semen's in there. That DNA is in you, that spirit, all right? And it says, yet return again to me, saith the Lord, all right? You know, and, you know, we, we, we played the harlot with the Lord, all right? We, we played the harlot with the Lord spiritually, all right? We, um, you know, at one point in time, you know, we was calling on Siege of Bozier, all right? Um, we was... Calling on Allah, we was calling on Buddha. All right, we was calling ourselves African American. We was calling ourselves Hispanics. We was calling ourselves Native Americans. All right, all the things, you know, all, everything under the sun, but the children of Israel. All the things under the sun, but um, but calling the Lord Yahweh by Shema All right, we, we 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 played the harlot, you know, just just along, I mean, right along with these um with these women. All right. So, um, you know, the point of this lesson is, you know, you know, sex is marriage. All right. There's no there's nowhere in the scriptures where you, where it talks about going down to the church or going down to Esau. All right. Buying a buying a ring, bowing down on one on one knee. All right. So um, that was it on this lesson. Lord willing, the video is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world even calls God. And Yahweh Shai is who this world even calls Jesus Christ. We give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, 144,000. Along with the one-third man, woman, and children that's listening. And truth is serious. To the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom.